Day 21. Four days until Christmas. Bananas. Um, this project was inspired by the ornament that you saw. It's made out of felt. I think I got it from papyrus. I got it like two years ago maybe? I don't know. I've had it for a while. But I've always wanted to do penguin cookies uh, for Christmas. And I thought that's one of my really favorite penguin setup designs, layouts, whatever you want to call it. And I think I should do it. I don't know, penguin cookies always just seem so fun to me and I don't know if it's because penguins are bicolored or if I think things just pop on a black and white background. I don't know. Anyways, um, I've piped and flooded uh, the oval cookie for the penguins and it's just a Wilton Easter cookie. It's actually an egg cutter. And here I'm just doing my candy canes. And actually, this is a letter J from the um, Ateco alphabet cutters. I didn't have a candy cane cutter, and so I thought this will work. But it actually wasn't really the best option for me, and I'll explain later. So here I'm just piping um, the white centers on the penguins. I'm doing it freehand. I, I debated about whether I should... Um, trace it out and do it like I did with the walruses or the um, the beards on the elves but I decided you know other things are going to be going on in the cookie I can just pipe it freehand which is what I did um, and the feet here are mini flower cutters that I've cut in half and I wasn't really sure what to do with them or how to attach them because as you see in the ornament they pop out of the bottom so I just decided to use the royal icing as a glue and to attach them on the bottom of the cookie instead of doing it before I bake the cookie so everything bakes together and here I'm piping on the snow hat do you call it a snow hat a winter hat or is it just a hat I don't know I'm piping on the hat and I decided I wanted to do something a little bit different, so I also added ear muffs. Um, and I waited maybe 20 minutes between piping the body of the hat and the brim of the hat. And now I'm just using my green royal icing to pipe a scarf. So really it's just a band across um, the body. And once that's set, again, for maybe about 20 to 30 minutes because it's such a small piece, I'll go in and pipe the tail. Uh, so this is about probably 30 minutes after I've piped the brim of the hat that I go in and put the ball on top of the hat. And again, I decided to attach my arms, which are just a mini rectangle cutter that I cut in half um, to make the arms. I decided to attach them to the body of the penguin and the reason the candy canes are on the outside of the arm sort of hanging on the outside of the arm is because they were too short and if I tried to place them as they're, they, it is on the ornament it would have been completely obstructing the face of the penguin so that's why I did it that way. It was really fun. Um, I learned that either I need to get a bigger egg cutter or a larger or an actual candy cane cutter, but I think it came out great. I really like the results. Um, I don't know what else to say. I'm going to show you close-ups of them. Not that you actually need to see them, but you know, my penguins are all different. <laughs> and, you know, I joke to my sister that no penguin is the same, and I guess they're not, but um, I struggle with being sort of fluid with replicating these images so it's a big step for me that my penguins are different and I'm not freaking out about it um, that's it I can't believe it's almost done I can't believe there's only four days left to vlogmas thanks for listening have a good day have a good night I guess because it's nighttime bye <laughs>